Ladies and gentlemen, we you like to put your hands together, welcome to St Andrews, Nick John.
There were six pretty maidens All dressed up in green Just to show he'd been drowned In the lakes of Shailin Island of 
St. Helena. fiddle for a Morris team and we used to play this tune while they used to jump about on it. Song which uh, you can join in if you want. So it comes from up here anyway. So pardon the English accent. And uh, song which I've never heard anybody sing up here, mainly because I've never tuned for a long while. I took the liberty of sticking one to it, and also translating it into an a-, a language that I could understand. It's got four, four verses and uh, four choruses. The chorus bit just goes, Woe betide you, animal water, at nights you are a gloomy river. Over you I'll build a bridge, never more true love may sever. You can join in that. about a fellow who wants to get across the river to see his girlfriend who's on the other side and doesn't quite make it mainly because of the elements and because of a rather unhelpful boatman
Wondrous deep, and my love and his wondrous bonny. I'm loath that she should wet her feet, because I love her best of any. Go saddle. To me, the bonny grey mare. Go saddle her soon and make her ready. For I must cross that stream tonight, or never more I'll see my Annie. Betide you, Annan Water. At night you are a gloomy river, and over you I'll build a bridge that never more true love. So he has ridden o'er field and fell, o'er moor and moss and many a mile. The spurs of steel were sought to buy. And from the mare's feet flew the fire. The mare flew on no more and moss, but when she'd won the Annan water, she couldn't have ridden a furlong more. Had a thousand whips been laid upon her, and woe betide you, Annan Water. At night you are a gloomy river, and over you are. Build a bridge that never more true love may about a fellow has problems with water by the end of the song. And this one, uh, this one, he's uh, drowned by his seventh girlfriend.
company's followed her down and it's hidden to the room where she lay. And she hadn't the strength for to flee from his arms, nor the tongue for to answer him nay. Rise up, rise up, me pretty portly, rise up and go with me. And I will take you to North Scotland, and there you'll marry me. Go fetch you a bag of your father's gold and some of your mother's fee. And two fine horses out of the stable are there standing thirty and three. So she's lit upon the nimble going brown and he's mounted the dapple grey. And when they've come to North Scotland, it's just a three hours till day. Light you down, light you down, me pretty poorly, light you down, I say to thee. The six kings' daughters have I drowned here, and the seventh will surely be thee. And pull off, pull off your fine gay clothes, hang them on yonder tree. They are too fine and they cost too much for to rot in the Salt Lake Sea. But then you get a sickle and you cut down the nettles that grow so close to the brim. For I fear they'll tangle my long yellow hair and they'll tear my lily white skin. So he's got a sickle and he's cut down the nettles that grow so close to the brim. And she's picked him up so skillfully and she's pushed the false knight in. Lie there, lie there, my false young man, lie there in the room of me. The six kings' daughters of you drowned here, and the seven's drowned in thee. And so she's lit upon the nimble going brown, she's led the dapple grey. And when she's come to her father's door, it's just the three hours till day. Up, hush up, me pretty Polly bird, and don't you tell tales on me. Your cage will be made of the very beaten gold and the door of the best ivory. But then up and spoke a fine young man in the chamber where he lay. What's the matter? What's the matter with me pretty Polly bird? You're talking so long a four day. All oh, is two black and cats at me cage and door. Oh, me life they will betray. And I'm just a calling for me pretty Polly, but to drive the cats away. And he's followed her up and he's followed her down and it's hidden to the room where she lay. And she hadn't the strength for to flee from his arms, nor the tongue for to answer him nay.
Fantastic. Um, Nick will be back later on with Bill Clifton. In the meantime, it's rush to the bar time. Ladies and gentlemen, would you like to put your hands together? Nick Jones. convict's heart Although the night is far advanced You shall find a friend on the Isle of France So he sent a letter Concerning the wreck of the shamrock green And his freedom came by a speedy post For the absent convict they thought was lost the coast guard the convict cried for he saved my life from the ocean wide and I'll drink his health in a flowing glass and his success to
I was walking up White Copper Alley as I was walking on one fine day. A last neat and pretty from fair London City, her cheeks were like roses, her colour was gay. I stepped up to her a thinking again, a saying, Where are you going, me pretty fair maid? Kisses I've ended and love I pretended, but all was in vain, for she was a maid. Oh, I cannot, I will not, I shall not, I dare not submit to your passions, for I am afraid friends will discover I have a new lover, and then they will call me a wanton young jade. I said, me dear, there's no need to fear, we'll go to some inn where we shall not be known. Then she relented at last, she consented, but first, kind sir, some money pay down. And here in these words it made me right anxious to think I should purchase a pretty fair maid. And when she demanded five guineas, twas granted, and when we'd had supper we went to bed. But I been tired and weary of drinking, and I been tired and weary of play. I fell a-nodding and she fell a-robbing, and left me old bedroom before it was day. And I turned to kiss her, and then I missed her. I looked for me wallet right under me head. Lady had plundered, I roared out like thunder. All was in vain, for the lady had fled. And it's not me gold watch or my silver I value, it's not me gold watch or my silver I crave. But I think some young doctor will be me conductor, I wish I'd not met with that pretty fair maid. one that it winds up uh, fairly well in some ways. I've known this song for quite a long time, I've never really known quite how to sing it. Um, never seemed right unaccompanied and I can never think of a decent accompaniment to it. It's got a really nice tune, it's played by a fellow called Ralph Vaughan Williams, who some of you may have heard of as a uh, composer. It's about a fellow who wants a bit of a wanderer, and he wanders from his home, which is in Philadelphia, and across to England, where he sees this girl who's wandering around on the banks of the River Lee. He chats her up. banks of the Lee, by the way, and that phrase does occur sometimes in some of the verses. If you want to join in, you're very welcome to. When first in this country, a stranger, curiosity caused me to roam. Over Europe I resolved to be a ranger. When I left Philadelphia, my home. We quickly sailed over to England Where forms of great beauty do shine And there I spied a young woman And I wished in my heart she was mine So there I did spy this young woman 
She appeared like some goddess to me As she rose from the reeds by the water On the green mossy banks of the lea I stepped up and wished her good morning And her cheeks, they did blush like the rose Says I, how the river looks charming And you guardian, I'll be if you choose Says she, sir, I ne'er a want a guardian Young man, you are a stranger to me And yonder is my father coming O'er the green mossy banks of the lea So I waited till up come her father Saying your daughter a lady she'll be She'll ride in a carriage and horses O'er the green mossy banks of the lea They invited me home to their cottage And soon after this lady she was mine And there I built a fine castle In grandeur and splendor to shine so now this American stranger All pastime and leisure he can see He can live with his gentle young woman On the green mossy banks of the lea so all of you young women, attention No matter how poor you may be Just you think on that gentle young woman On the green mossy banks of the lea Silly wizard with a name like that, they've got to be really good. <laughs> I've not heard them, so I can't uh, can't say. But a name like that sounds uh, very interesting. Sounds worth five bob just for the name, isn't it? blind harper how he lived in Lochmaben town and he would go to fair England steal King Henry's wanton brown 
And first he went unto his wife with all the haste that he could show. This work, he says, it'll never go well without the help of our good grey mare. Says she, you take the good grey mare, she'll run all hills both low and high. So set you on the grey mare's back and leave the foal at home with me. So he is up to England, gone even as fast as a go could he. And when he came to Carlisle Gate, who should be there but King Henry? The king he looked over his left shoulder and he said unto his stable groom, Go take the poor blind harper's mare and put her beside me once and brown. So the harper hopped and then he sang and he charmed them all so fast asleep And quietly he took off his shoes, straight way down the stairs did creep And straight he went to the stable door with a tread as light as light couldn't be And when he opened and went in, he found thirty steeds and three he took a halter from his hose, and from his purpose he did not fail. He slipped it over the wanton's nose, and he tied it to the grey mare's tail. And he let him loose at the castle gate, and the mare didn't fail to find her way. She was at the Loch Maven gate, three long hours before the day. Very next morning in broad daylight when they had ended all their cheer Behold the wanton brown was gone, likewise the poor blind harper's mare And oh and alas says the blind harper, oh ever alas and that I come here In Scotland I've lost me a good grey foal, in England they've stolen me old grey now cease your talk and your blind harper, and again of your music let us hear. And well paid shall your cult foal be, you shall have a far better mare. So the harper hopped and then he sang, and so sweet was the music he let him hear. He was paid for a foal that he never had lost, and three times over for the good grey mare. Well, Paddy Maloney left Ireland in glee. He had a strange notion to sail the broad sea. He shipped on a whale catcher, boys, Georgia bound. And the whale that she fished made his head go around. Catawallin, tarpaulin, harpooning and all. Well, Paddy, he had never been a sailing before, and it made his heart beat when he heard a loud roar. There's a whale, a man at the masthead did cry. Be God says, poor Paddy, I'll be yet by and by, caterwauling, tarpaulin', harpooning and all. Well, Paddy, he went forward and he reached for the mast. Caught hold of a gripper, and there he held her fast. The boat gave a tip, and poor Pad lost his grip. And into the whale's belly, the silly fool slipped. Caterwauling, tarpaulin, harpooning, and all. 
Well, he was in that a whale's belly six months and a day, and one morning by chance to his throat he made a way. The whale gave a hoosh, boys, and then she did blow, and a mile in the air went old Paddy Maloney, caterwauling, tarpaulin, harpooning and all. Well, Paddy, he got landed quite safe on the shore, and he swears he'll not go to sea any more. And the next time he falls, such a venture, such an ocean, it'll be when the railway runs over the ocean, caterwauling, tarpaulin, harpooning, and all.